Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Today I thought I'd show you how I blow dry my hair so that it's straight and easy to manage through until I wash my hair again. I just got out of the shower so my hair is still wet. I did let it air dry for about 10-15 minutes while looking for my outfit and planning my makeup and all those things. While I was in the shower, I used the Micro Keratin Shampoo and Conditioner Deep Smoothing Moisturizer Repair. Ooh, I think I said that wrong. In the shower, I just used the Micro Keratin Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner Repair because I have to use these after I got my keratin treatment at the beginning of last month. What well, other thing I'm going to use today is a make it yourself heat protecting spray. It's in an old leave-in conditioner spray bottle, but I will show you, I'll tell you the ingredients for this in the description below. It's really easy to make. It's basically a type of oil and conditioner and a lot of water and it protects your hair from the heat you're going to use on it and it just helps your hair grow longer and it protect it well, yes, it protects your hair. I think I said that three times now. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this spray all throughout my hair. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair here from the top of my ears to the back and I'm going to tie up the top piece with an elastic just to keep it out of the way while I blow dry the rest. Now I'm going to be using this round brush while blowing out my hair with this Thermal Protect Philips Beauty Hair Dryer. It really doesn't matter which one you use, but I like this one because it has a hot and a cold setting and I will show you how I use this while I blow out my hair. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the hair dryer in the hand on the side that I'm working on and I'm going to use the other one to use the brush, get it in under my hair and curl it up and away from myself and drag it down as I blow my hair. So I'm going to put this on the highest setting, I'm going to just catch this under my hair, I'm going to drag it down and make sure I get all my hair. I'm going to swap hands because trust me that's a lot easier and I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. As you can see, it doesn't take long to get a side dry. Now that I'm done with this part, just to cool the hair down after using the heat on it, I'm going to put on the cold setting and just go through it once again. And then you continue on the other side. And you're going to do this again with a second section that you're going to take from here and do it all over again. Sometimes I miss a spot at the back, so to make sure I get it, I take my hair to the back, just take, pick up the middle piece in my hand, flip the other hair out of the way and pull it to the side before blowing over it again, just to make sure everything is dry from the sides to the back. Another thing to remember is to make sure to take it all the way to the ends. Every now and then I wouldn't and then everything would be dry except for the tips that are still dripping. 
So make sure you drag it down all the way to the bottom until your hair falls out between the brush and the hair dryer. Now for the next section. You're going to repeat the same process just with the top hair. The thing that is a little tricky about this section is the bottom hair that's already dry. Now I don't pin it away, I just flip it to the back for now, split off the top section, tie it up and then do the same thing. Get the brush in under my hair and blow it out. It's a little difficult to get the hang of it at first, you'll see. I still struggle with it sometimes, but you're going to roll it in under your hair, scoop it up basically and blow it out. It's okay if you get some of the dry hair in there because blowing it out again isn't going to do any damage. So, hair dryer on the side you're working on, round brush in the other hand, curl it up and blow it all the way down. You'll see at the end, I sectioned off the back piece and pulled it to the side over my brush and blew it. That really makes it easier just to make sure everything is dry because the first few times I missed the back spot and then everything was straight and smooth at the front and the back it went boop. So make sure you get that part. Now for the top section. It works a little different than the rest because you wanted to go to a certain side and I'm going to take mine to the left. So I'm going to untie my hair from the way I put it up. I'm going to section my hair where I want the split and I'm going to bring that side down. Just brush it to the side and then tie the rest up to the other side. I want it a little bit more to the side. Now I'm going to do the same with this part as you did with every other part of your hair. Now for the last part. This part I like doing in two sections because this is my fringe that's going to hang out. So I split it in half so that the front is out from the back. Usually it's like the front third or so, the back part I just throw there and the front I twirl up and I tie it with a smaller elastic this time. A pin would work better here but I can't put my hand on one now so I'm just going to Wrap my hair around itself, take small elastic, and try and get this to stay up here. Now the back I'm going to blow dry half and blow drying everything else, and then I'll show you how I'm going to do the front.
Now finally for the last part. I'm going to throw all my hair back and then bring down this front piece. To make it easier, I'm using a different type of brush and I'm just going to comb this part out. I'm going to tie the rest back so that it's just out of the way for now. Now this part is a little dry by now, so I'm just going to put some more spray in it. So because it doesn't help you blow it dry to try and straighten it out if it's not wet to begin with. So I always tend to go over this part again because it dries out by the time I get here. Now I'm going to take this brush and instead of just getting it under and taking it down to the side, I'm taking this front part to the front of my face. I'm going to be blowing it in that direction and I'm going to then take it to the side with the rest of the hair and blow it out that way. Now for the last thing I do with my hair. I usually use this argan oil in this small bottle. I put about a coin size amount in my hand and then I run it through my hair, avoiding the roots. This just makes my hair shiny and healthier and I love the way it looks and my hair feels better and it smells nice. So I recommend just putting any oil in your hair after you've blown it out. So I take this amount, I rub it in my hand just a little bit and then I take it down the sides of my hair. I run it through everything, the front as well, avoiding the roots. And that is it for how I blow dry my hair. I hope you picked up a few tips and tricks and that if you try this out, it works for you too. Thank you so much for watching. Please like if you want to see more videos about hair and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you.